Alright, so first thing we need to do is connect Figma with Shapes XR. So we are in Figma, we go to this little house here in our profile, settings, we scroll down and personal access tokens. So we create a token here, we name it Shapes XR because we are linking Shapes XR, intro and copy this token. This is one time action. All right, so here in Shapes, what we need to do now is syncing Shapes and Figma. So what we do is we go to my files, click on upload, Figma import. And now Shapes is asking us for the token, the one we just created. So we paste the token here and sync. Shapes did that because it was the first time. So now we can import from here, but if we do again, it's not asking for the for the token anymore, but for the link. So now what we need to do is go in to Figma and get the link. Once in Figma, we go to the group or frame we want to import to shapes. We go there, this one for instance, we go right click and copy link. All right, so back to shapes, we already have the link that from the, the frame that we want to import here. So we go here and paste the link, click import. So now, here it is. This is our Figma frame already in Shapes XR. Another uh, quicker way to, to import is just going here and click Control V. So the, the import will, will get here as well. As for the size of your UI, notice that this design is 840 pixels. That's the same as 840 millimeters at one meter. So we always design as if the UI was meant to, to be seen at one meter. All right, so we are in shapes now. So the first thing we need to do is we open the menu, go to settings and put the snapping steps to 50. Make sure that the snappings are uh, set as uh, to 50 centimeters. So next we will go to assets in my files. And here we can find the Figma frame that we just imported. So we click on it and we mark it as UI. This option here, this toggle, activated. So now this the scale factor is one. So this means that at one meter, this will scale the, the pixels by one, right? So now we have 840 pixels in Figma, which is this one here. And since it's scaled by one, it's 84 centimeters. That's exactly what we want because we want this panel to be seen at one meter, right? If we change the scale, and let's say we want it to be seen at two meters, then we would scale it by two. And as you can see here, this has scaled it. So now it's one meter and 70 centimeters, right? So now it's by one, boom. Then now, as you can see, it matches. The centimeters here matches the pixel in Figma. So we took it out and we have it now in the space. So now we want it to be at one meter from our user, our camera, right? Okay, so where is our camera? We activate the ray. So now here is our camera. And now this, this to be accurate needs to be at one meter from the camera, right? So we've said that those 50 centimeters are these gray dots you can see here. Between them, there are 15 50 centimeters so that's 50 50 50 50 so it's we've said one meter 50 50 one meter that's one meter distance from the the view from our camera mostly so we can pull it a little bit down and we go to the camera and here it is so here's exactly how the ui will look the size the scale the distance you can feel here Okay, it's too close. Maybe I need to adjust some buttons, some sizes, some text, and so on. So now you can continue working on Figma using the one meter rule. And that's pretty much it. So if you, let's say you want this to be at two meters instead of one, you don't really need to do anything in Figma. Figma remains the same, but this, as I said before, you will go here and say, no, it's two. We remove this one 
and put this out. Okay, so now as you can see, it's bigger. So now we want two meters. So it's one fifty one meter fifty two meters. And then we would go here, and that's the how it would look at two meters. You cannot feel that in the video, but in VR it feels so different so different it you can notice it's far away it's not that close so you can play with it but the main point is that the figma file remains always the same and that's pretty much it